First up, we're going to have a look at osteopathy, which is a drug-free, non-invasive manual medicine that focuses on total body health. William Hawkswell is a registered osteopath and principal here at the Castlewood Clinic. Will, can you tell me a bit about your background and how you got into osteopathy? Sure. Well, I studied my first degree um, at Oxford University and part of the course was um, healthcare philosophy and methodology and that um, inspired me to want to go into a form of medicine that was not pharmaceutically based uh, and then I went on to study osteopathy. Very good. And you're a structural osteopath. So how does that differ from other types of osteopathy? Well, most osteopaths start off by training as, as structural osteopaths. Um, and then some of them go off and, and do different techniques, cranial techniques, things like that. But um, most people are, are structural osteopaths. And do you deal with all types of pain or is there a certain area that you focus on? I do deal with all types of pain, uh, but most, the majority of pain is, is back pain. And that tends to be what people associate with, with osteopaths. Uh, but I treat neck pain and headaches and wrists and elbows and ankles mm. and knees. And can you tell me the difference then between, say, a physiotherapist uh, chiropractor and an osteopath? There's a lot of difference um, within the professions but um, simply speaking physios tend to focus on muscles and have muscular diagnoses whereas osteopaths and chiropractors um, uh, manipulate joints. Osteopaths would also work on the, the soft tissues as well um, and chiropractors would tend to manipulate spinal joints so the, the joints down here, something that I'm particularly into manipulating of the, the sacred neck joints, which are the large joints in the pelvis, which I believe are the source of dysfunction elsewhere in the spine. And um, it can be an area that's difficult to manipulate, but um, I find that with those joints you often need to get two or three or even four cavitations or cracks out of the joints to actually free them up mm. and then everything else frees up. And uh, I think that's the way to get um, back pain that hasn't responded to other treatments better. You do have lots of different types of treatments, one of them being dry needling. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Yep. Uh, dry needling is a form of acupuncture. It's not meridian based like the traditional Chinese medical acupuncture. It's um, more based in, in modern medicine and uh, the anatomical view of the body. Uh, I use it for old muscle strains that haven't responded to other treatments uh, and also for problems in the shoulder and neck um, and deep acupuncture into the muscles there is, is very effective for things which have uh, become ingrained and, and that again haven't got better. Well I can see that you're very passionate about what you do. It must be amazing to know that you've got healing powers. Well it's all about um, you know training and practice and um, experience but um, uh, I do like getting people better and sending them on their way. You know, that's what it's all about. <laughs>